The men and women of the United States Air Force are there helping thousands of victims. And CBS 13's Carlos Correa was with one unit from Travis Air Force Base in Puerto Rico. He shows us the aircraft and manpower it takes to carry out those missions. About 54 miles from Stockton, crews at Travis Air Force Base remain on standby as airmen prepare to provide relief and support to hurricane victims. Stabilizer, motion. Captain Brian Adams with the U.S. Air Force is on a mission. It always feels good to be able to help where you can. He's the pilot aboard the C-17, a global aircraft that spent hours making its way from Travis Air Force Base to San Juan, Puerto Rico, flying past Hurricane Irma to deliver much-needed supplies to the Caribbean. Obviously, we have a lot of different weather updates, uh, both on the airplane and also uh, we can call in uh, over our sat phone and uh, just get real-time updates. So we, we knew exactly where it was, um, and we obviously adjusted our flight plan to stay well well away from it. C-17 can hold a lot of things, depending upon the location and what is needed, but the airmen say the aircraft is always ready to go at a moment's notice. We can uh, take a plethora of things. We could take vehicles, medical supplies. We could turn our airplane into a, a flying hospital. Milton Knight's family is from Jamaica, and although Hurricane Irma spared the island, he feels his mission to provide humanitarian relief and support to other places in the Caribbean is that much special. They're resilient and they're appreciative and they're going to make it through. The airmen say there could be an increase in activity at Travis Air Force Base over the next several days as they provide more help to hurricane victims. Hopefully when they see us, it's a smile or we can make that frown turn into a smile. This particular crew that allowed me to be part of this weekend's mission arrived at Travis Air Force Base late Sunday night. Most went immediately on standby and are awaiting orders for a new mission. All right, Carlos, thanks so much for that report.